I bought my ticket to be on another boat, but the uh, the councillor stayed in England, and I could be transferred, so I got transferred to the Titanic. And, and uh, some of my friends were rather doubtful about it, but I uh, I didn't feel that way. So when I got on there, a woman said to me, you know, she said, this boat will never reach New York. Oh, I said, don't be saying things like that. Well, she said, I can't help it, but it'll never reach New York. And she's my roommate. Uh, Sandy came and we had a nice service and uh, um, she kept telling me this boat went, so I said, oh, I think you you need a, a tonic, a, you know, something to drink. So I went down and I got her a little uh, bouillon. So I went down to the uh, steward and, uh, of course, she was English. She said, good morning, madam. He said, were you at church this morning? I said, yes. Well, I said, you know, we boys, he said, we don't know one another. We're all picked from various boats to have the honor of being on the maiden voyage. And he said, uh, did you hear that singing and that sermon? Oh, he said, it was so wonderful. He said, it was out of this world. He said, in fact, I think we're too happy to last long. So I thought, well, there goes another. So I take back, I said, here's your bullion, mister. Oh, I don't want it, he said, but I know. Oh, no, she says, I, uh, I, I just know this boat will never, never reach New York. It was just after 11 o'clock at night, I was in bed sound asleep when they came and uh, called all passengers, put on your life reservers, go up on boat deck. So I went up on boat deck and there was a lad there from Buenos Aires. I said, this boat's going to sing. He said, no, it isn't. He said, well, <laughs> I said, this Miss Keen keeps telling me it never reached New York. But he said, I'll show you. And he said, up in that corner was a, a box or something. He said, see that? I said, if, if, if we have, were in danger, that would be open. I said, I'd better put on a warm coat. And I went back and put on a, another, a warm coat. Mm. And uh, I got up on deck. I looked and most of the boats had gone. I was so surprised. I had the idea that, you know, this is my watery grave. The captain was there and he said, stand back. And the men were, men and women there. And he said, women and children only. And there was a man there with a baby in his arms. And he said, well, he said, I don't want to be saved, but we'll save this baby. And uh, no one offered, so I said, well, I will. So me, oh, you're foolish to save a baby. So I thought, well, I always do finish things, so I said to the officer, if I save a baby, I said, what will happen? Oh, Mom, he said, the White Star Line will take care of both of you. As much as I say, <laughs> why do you ask? So I said, when you go in the lifeboat? And I said, yes. So the lifeboat was there, it was lifeboat 13. So the stewardess jumped in the lifeboat first, then they tossed the baby into the, uh, her arms and they said, will you go in? And yes. So I looked, <laughs> there was the ocean, there was a life and I thought, oh, I'll never make it. But I, I jumped and I got in there and I hurt my ankles, but anyhow, I made it. There was a light in the distance. The captain said, no, men, uh, row to that light, empty your boats and come back and pick up more passengers. So our men rowed and rowed, but we never could make that light. I had to take my eyes off it. You see, her going, her lights are all lit, and see them. Each row of light disappear, and each row of light disappear. Finally, she went down. The scream when it when uh, finally she went down. That scream was worse than any siren. Fifteen hundred people worked out at one time. We were in a school of whales. We had an for time. We thought our boat would be upset, you know. And the uh, man that uh, manned our boat, he didn't have a hat. So somebody gave him a cap and he made a knot here and two knots here. He looked very funny. <laughs> Finally, we saw the berg that did the damage and then a, a boat came. And the boat was the Carpathia and it picked us up. We get on the Carpathia and it took us four days to get to New York. And the uh, captain, as soon as we got on board, he had a, um, a service of thanksgiving for the living and a memorial service for the dead. And people were dying on board, and we had uh, barrels at sea, 
and we were in a school of Wales, and it took us four days to get New York, and there wasn't anything to be proud of. <laughs> <laughs>